So right in front of me, I have a brand new product from a company called Ori. These guys have started a Kickstarter campaign to basically fund a project on a magical ring. Now this is not any sort of magical ring. It's a magical ring that uses the power of bone conduction across your finger to talk to people. Okay, so inside the box, we have two items. On the right hand side, we have the ring itself and we'll talk about that in a second. And we also have a carrying case. This carrying case is quite big for a ring that's so small. Inside the case, you have two little power connectors that will charge the device and it uses micro USB to charge it. I would have loved to see USB type C. It's 2019, let's make everything USB type C. Besides that, we have a few other things. We have a quick start guide, which I'm not gonna read. And we have a bunch of ring tips for the proper size of your finger. Now there's a bunch here. I don't have patience for this right now. So I'm not gonna try any of these on, but when you buy this, or if you do decide to buy this, you got options, son. What else do we have? Micro USB cable, and we have a little screwdriver here that allows you to take the rings on and off the ring itself. So this is what the ring looks like. It's quite thick, it is noticeable. If you're wearing this outdoors, don't be surprised if you get a few heads turning at you or a couple of questions. It is made out of metal, so it's well made. It doesn't feel cheap at all. You have this little rough construction on the top. This is the all black version. You have a button on the side to access features like Siri or Google Assistant. Don't be an asshole and wear it on the FU finger. You're gonna look like a douchebag. You wanna put it on the index finger. This is the finger it's meant to go on. This is the finger for bone conduction technology. So we got the device set up. The apps installed it automatically paired. They're talking to each other over here. The first thing I'm gonna do is a sound test. So you press this little button right here. Okay, now to you guys, that sounds kind of loud because I have it next to the microphone, but it's not that loud at all. Like maybe the person beside me could hear me through the speaker, but overall it's not loud enough to hear across the room. The way it gets loud is when you're using the bone conduction technology against your ear. So I'm gonna try this again, but I'm gonna place it in my ear as per the instructions. Okay. That's pretty exceptional. It makes a huge difference. The way it's placed is by taking your finger and spanning it across your earlobe, where it kind of sits inside of your inner ear. The vibrations through my finger amplifies the voice, allowing me to hear it a lot more clearly. Honestly, if I'm in a loud room, I can imagine myself using this to hear the person I'm talking to, because if I had my phone there, I wouldn't be able to hear it at all. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. What's going on? You're on camera. You're using bone conduction technology to speak to you. Can you hear me perfectly? Do I sound nice and clear? Like clear as day? Like the clearest person you've ever heard in your entire life? Oh, I sound like I'm on speaker. Like clear speaker. Okay, so I'm clear as clear as speaker can be. Okay, that's all I wanted to know. Thank you for your services. You too, goodbye. So there you go, call quality is actually pretty good with this device. You can hear me perfectly on the other end and I can hear that person on the other end. The only thing that my wife said was that it sounds like I'm on speakerphone, but a very clear speakerphone. So phone calls is not the only thing it can do. It can actually do notifications as well. The way it works is by setting up alerts inside of the app. So for example, I have phone call as blue, SMS as red, and when I get a vibrate against my finger, an LED light will pop up with a specific color, letting me know which notification it is. If it's important, I'll take out my phone. If it's not, forget about it. This device doesn't discriminate. It doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed, there's a microphone on each side so you can choose which side picks up your voice. Now other cool features. IPX7, which means it's splash resistant. So if you're picking your nose or you're playing with your earwax, it's not gonna break on you. You can also have about 50 milliamps of battery, which should get you about 200 text messages or about an hour and a half of phone calls. So if you spread that out through the entire day, you might be able to get a full day's use. If you're gonna charge it, it takes about an hour, so it's not too long either. Now the big thing, the big question, is this device worth it? I don't think it is because at the end of the day, you're still taking something in your hand and placing it towards your ear. Something you can already do with your smartphone. At least with a headset or headphones, it's already over your head. You don't have to do anything because it's there already. I think this is for someone who wants to try something new, something different out there by exploring bone conducting technology. That's it. This is not replacing anything. It's not really amplifying the experience or making it better. It's just a cool piece of technology to play with. Anyways, that is my thoughts on the Ori. Pretty cool idea, but it really doesn't offer much use compared to your regular smartphone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because if you did, I want you to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes, and I'll see you guys in the next video.